Alrighty, what's up, Algebra 2 crew? Or really, you know, anybody using a Pearson book. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to our Math XL page, which we'll be using for a lot of the homework online. Now, if you're in my blended class, I have a link down here at the bottom in the course resources. You can click right here. All right, so if you're on the Haiku, you can always do that. Or all of your Chromebooks, if you look up here, it says district158.org bookmarks. That's on my computer. Yours will say student158.org bookmarks. If you click that and click Easy Bridge, it's going to bring you to the right place. Okay? So <clears throat> we're going to go away for, or go over to that page real quick. Now, your, mine has a lot more going on than yours. You'll probably have one, maybe two classes if you've got a couple classes that use Pearson books. So, for example, if you're in my Algebra 2 Blended, first period semester one class will pop up like this most years will look the same and you'll see this algebra 2 common core and you'll see math xl for school this is what we want to click to go to the math xl page so to do that now if this is the first time you've seen it it's going to run you through um, a little terms and agreements and stuff like that you click agree you sign your life away you're good it'll bring you to this page right here yours should look very similar to mine almost identical i believe okay uh, now, what you're going to see here is it says what to work on next. Well, at this point in time, we're in Chapter 1. You've just done your quiz a day or two ago over Sections 1 through 4. And now we're going to try, we're going to, try to start using this Math Excel. So you have a couple homework assignments here, Chapter 1, Section 5 and Chapter 1, Section 6, which are both due on August 30th. That's the day of the test. So you have to have it done before you come to class. Crazy concept. Okay. If you click on this, what you see down here are 12 questions. If you click on one of those, let's say let's click on question number one, a question will pop up momentarily, all right? and yours will be different most likely from one of your friends. Maybe you guys are working at the same time. It will be a different problem. It will be the same type of problem for question one, but a different, different numbers. Okay. So you will work through these, you'll answer them, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and then when you're done, you'll submit it. Okay, each time you can check your answer. I don't know what the answer is, so I'm just going to click one here. Boom, okay, I'll click that. Check answer. Sorry, that's incorrect. Well, what's cool is it gives you some hints and things like that. And you're like, okay, so now you can try it again. And then you can do your final check. Well, I learned, I think I learned some stuff. Again, I'm not sure what the answer is. I'm just clicking for the video. Final check. Sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer is D. Okay. Um, now you can go to the next question or you can do a similar question so you can test yourself on this again and make sure you truly understand it. Okay. So you'd probably want to click similar question to do another one. Um, but if you know you got it right, next question. And we're moving on <clears throat> and going through the whole thing. If you got to stop at any point, you can go up here to the top right and click save. All right. And once you're done, you can submit it. Uh, it will, you know, give you a... a uh, a report down here of which ones you got right, which ones you got wrong, and you can also go to your study plan and it will customize a study plan for you based on what you got right and what you got wrong. So it's not going to give you a bunch of problems that you already got right because you know how to do it, but it's going to give you problems that you got wrong because you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself on the test. Okay? So for our homework assignments, we'll be doing these. You'll be able to get to them through your awesome bookmarks up here at EasyBridge and click on your Math Excel, or you can go through the Haiku page as we showed you as well. So if you're at a home computer and you don't have these handy-dandy bookmarks that you have on your Chromebook, you can always go through the website, the Haiku website on our page. Cool? Awesome. Great, grand, wonderful.